Libra. Welcome to my channel if you're new. My name's Judith Taby, and if you're returning, welcome back. This is a timeless, general, quick zodiac reading, a uh, quick message from source. Um, we have three piles today, and a lot of times people, uh, readings are for your sun, moon, or rising. I recommend that you find out what your Chiron sign is because uh, the messages here here are for healing and that's what the Chiron symbol looks like in your birth chart. So um, if today's message doesn't resonate with you, check out what your Chiron sign is and then come back and pick the appropriate sign. So with that, all that being said, we have pile one, which is tiger's eye crystal we have pile two which is the clear quartz pyramid and pile three is the garnet I will see you at your piles Libra Hey, Pile 1 Libra viewers, you selected the Tiger's Eye Crystal, and your card is number 30, Lightning. Okay. The formidable electrical discharge of a lightning bolt brightens the sky and strikes the earth, accompanied by the mighty sound of thunder. This phenomenon has a positive aspect. The light illuminates the earth and the psyche, but there is a destructive side as well. The bolt can burn and even kill if it's too strong. The, force, the forces of the upper world are investing their gathered energies to ignite you with this new inspiration and creativity. Allow this divine gift of awakening to take root in your being and enjoy a renewed sense of clarity, passion, and vision. But the medicine of this card says, life has gifted you with a destiny that is in alignment with your passion and in harmony with all existence on earth. Now lightning has come to jolt you into accepting your destiny. Let this initiation release what is in the way of you fulfilling your life purpose. Otherwise, you will be bound to your karmic fate. This is a time to be courageous and daring. Okay, Libra, let's see what we have here. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Son of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay, so being courageous and daring. Um, the Five of Wands in reverse speaks of conflict, avoidance, harmony, peace. Your environment is becoming more relaxed release of tension, end of conflict, cooperation, and agreements. So, it's come, it, this coming into accepting your destiny, um, sources saying it's time to end the conflict. Stop um, fighting it. Stop Let's see, Seven of Swords, betrayal, deception, getting away with something, theft, dishonesty, sneakiness, cunning, scheming, and strategy. So you've oh like I feel like you've always had your swords on hand to battle. You've always had a scheme or a strategy in place. Um Too. So we've got all the ancestral wisdom within you. 
So I see like the tree of tree, the family tree, and you slice away the trunk and you could see the rings of how old each tree is. Um, so that family tree and the tree of life and, and the tree of wisdom is all within you, but you've, you've blocked it. You've not embraced it. You've, so the eight of cups in reverse. Eight of Cups in traditional tarot. Eight of Cups, she's, she's walking away. But here, you've remained. You've, you're, <laughs> Source is showing me like, you've just planted yourself and surrounded you with garbage. You're not utilizing all the wisdom and education that you have within you. Source is saying, here, here's the bolt of lightning to jolt you awake, jolt you into accepting your destiny. So far, you've you've not walk, walked towards your destiny. You've remained in this energy and ignored what, what's already knowing with it, that what you have within you. But this is a quick message from Source saying, um, that bolt of lightning is here to jolt you, and if you choose to battle it, ignore it, and focus on other things, you'll be bound to that karmic fate, which is trash, which is, I'm like, just a bunch of garbage. <laughs> All right, Libra, let's get one card. How does the universe have your back? I am the dreamer of my dream. So your destiny is clearly your heart's desire. What is your dream? Like, what is your dream job? What is it your dream goal? You are the dreamer of your dream. And Source is here to support you. And you've been given all the knowledge and wisdom to to do what you're doing, but you've been in your in your own way. You've been your own worst enemy. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. Hope that helped, and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and light. Hi, Libra. Pile 2 viewers, you selected the Crystal Quartz Pyramid. And your quick message from Source is number 20, Flow. There is a natural movement of events in the world. You can see it in the phenomena such as the tide, the ebb and flow of oceans and rivers that rise up from the earth and flow to the sea. The symbol of flow represents the effortless and natural movement toward a certain destination. It signifies an ability to gracefully move around obstacles and reminds you of the sense of allowing. When flow comes to visit, it's a sign that your intentions have been in motion. Now is the time to allow nature to run its course. You are being called to effortless movements and the path of least resistance. It's like being within music, flowing within partnership. Think of the artist who creates without guile or craft, calling creativity up from the soul and bringing it to life without effort. You are called to be like a river, knowing the fulfillment of destiny is assured. Enjoy the ride. The medicine of this card says, don't try to push against the river or swim upstream right now. You can trust that when the time is right, your dreams will begin to take shape and you will be invited to dance with destiny. Right now, however, 
you must relax. This is not the time to bang on doors that refuse to open. Whatever obstacles in front of you right now, trust this is for the highest good. It is an opportunity to regroup and reconsider your choices, and you must trust that your intentions will take form in good time. Consider this time a gift. So we have the Knight of Swords. You've been impatient. The Six of Swords. Moving on to calmer waters. Accepting lessons. Let's see. So the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Now this to me is an abundance, a bounty of food sustenance and there's just like sources showing me that you've been like hacking away at this rope cutting and cutting and cutting and you just can't seem to cut that last that last little string but it's not time yet for you to receive this this independence and prosperity and abundance. This, it's divine timing. I'm hearing like, go, go for a trip, like go on a journey, just relax. And what's interesting, I'm seeing this right, there's a, rope right there this like <laughs> looks just like this so which would make sense because when you get to the dock you gotta tie up your boat um so it's not time to cut that last string yet because you there's still places that you need to go and distances moving on to, and then it will come Okay, Libra, let's get a message from the universe. How does universe have your back? Can we have one card for Libra, please? Thank you. My capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need. When I'm ready to speak up the compassion I need, when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I'm lost. Okay. That's what I have for you, Libra. I hope it helped. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and light. Hey, Libra. Pile three, you selected the garnet. And your message from source is number 16, the eagle. Eagle comes from the east, the place of the rising sun, of new beginnings. She soars high in the sky, sees the smallest detail with clarity, without losing track of the bigger picture and nests in the highest mountains. For Eagle, there are no obstacles, only opportunities. She calls you to ascend, to acquire perspective, so you can fly wing to wing with great spirit. Have you become trapped in your daily routine and feel you do not know where to go and what to do next? Have you lost your sense of purpose? Eagle invites you to take a deep breath and spread your wings. When was the last time you opened them? Eagle reminds you that your spirit was born to soar to the heavens. As you contemplate choices, ask yourself, do I want to live in a chicken coop, sheltered from life, counting the regular feedings? Or do I want to soar like an eagle? If your answer is the latter, then you must accept Eagle's invitation and embrace the courage that will help you choose freedom. 
the medicine says it's time to see through the eyes of eagle let your vision of the whole and of its parts become laser-like and set your priorities straight what did you come to do in this life did you come to climb up the ladder of financial or social success did you come to become a better person to heal your heart and to realize your essential self what is your divine mission here on earth no more excuses of course you do not have enough time enough money or enough sleep yet the time is now to fly to your chosen purpose if you postpone it you are betraying yourself look through the eyes of eagle and consider every obstacle and opportunity where you set your intention is where you'll end up free yourself and live your highest destiny fly Ten of Cups, happiness, alignment, domestic joy, fulfillment, the devil, toxic energies, obsessions, attachments, oppression, materialism, the Seven of Wands, the Mother of Cups. And the seven of swords okay so we have two sevens here um, I, clearly what I'm seeing is uh, no more excuses um, your uh, oppression and attachments to things have presented you prevented you from this bliss, this, this fulfillment. And this fulfillment has to start within you. The Seven of Swords, it speaks of um, trickery and theft. However, in this card visual, I see like, all your excuses, which you consider your truth, each truth is is buried, right? It's sources saying all of those excuses no longer, no more excuses. Source is giving you the one message of truth. And they're lighting the path for you to achieve that, that true heart's passion desire. What is your mission on? Here's your journey. They're lighting the way for you. No more, no more excuses. You're all dead and buried now. It's time to fly. Okay. Can we have one card for Libra, please? How is universe? Oh, that flew out very quickly. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Okay, fly, no more excuses. You're only betraying yourself. Love and light, Libra. Look forward to connecting with you next time.